Hi everybody, today's Vega card is going to be what the person on your mind wants you to know. So you can think of whatever person it is romantically, um, because so, it is going to be a love reading. And I'm going to flip these cards over and read the message. And whatever message um, resonates the most with you, you can choose that pile. You can choose more than one if you want, as always. So we have pile one is the white swan, the power of divine grace is within you. Pile two is the nut hatch. Stay grounded and welcome the new knowledge and perspective coming to you. And then the crow. Universal laws and truths are now being revealed. Use this energy to create your reality. Okay, as always, again, use your discernment, intuition, um, and pick whatever pile you want. You can pick more than one. You can pick all three. Or you can pick none if you want as well. So, I'm going to get straight into the white swan. Which is pile one. And roll the zodiac dice. Just extra confirmation. Virgo and Aries, Libra and Leo, and then Taurus and Libra. Okay, Let's take a deep breath, and I'm going to get some Romance Angel Oracle cards um, first, just to get the energies of the connection. Take those cards. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay, let's get two more. Maybe it's just one more. And getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Bottom of the deck, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, so with that, you may need to, you know, you may have a current partner, you may have someone that you're interested in right now that um, you're not thinking of. It's almost like you're, I don't want to say with someone, but you're maybe talking to someone and you're thinking of another person um, because it's almost like you attract romantic um, partners a lot, <laughs> like multiple because of, you know, the power of divine graces within you, you are outwardly and inwardly beautiful. So, you know, <laughs> it's not hard for you to, or hard for people to want you or look at you and think you're beautiful or want to date you, okay? So, I'm also going to get some messages. Oh. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. So again, like it said, a past person could be coming in. This is someone that um, could have done you wrong, maybe. But I'm more affected than you know. And, Jesus, okay. I miss you regardless of how things seem. So this is like all... <laughs> you may be thinking of a past person, I mean... Come on, that's like, they're all past tense, like, they screwed things up, or they went away, and now they realize it wasn't the right decision, because of how much they miss you, okay? So, this person I do, just, I mean, come on, it's most definitely a past person who you're thinking of, or even this could be someone from a past life, so you might not have met, this in, met them in your lifetime, but they might, like, you know, occur in your dreams or you feel a real strong pull to someone or an energy. And, you know, it's nothing you've ever felt before. And you may feel kind of frazzled by it. Ooh. I'd love if my cards ever stayed on my table. Okay. We also have... I can't even, with these pronunci pronunciations, Anne Moan, sorry if I butchered that, um, it's the name of a flower, wind flower, so anticipation, I feel like an arrow pulled back and ready to be launched into something big, okay, so this person's coming in fast, this person's, you know, ready to come back to you, they're not, 
they're not playing. They want you to know that. They want to run towards you. They want to embrace you and you to accept them again. So we also have hibiscus and beauty and happiness. A thing of beauty is a joy forever, okay? I know these cards are a little wild. I'm going to put these over the side just if any, anybody's light sensitive um, or that bothers anybody. I'm going to put them off to the side okay but we do have you know i told you you're very beautiful like beautiful and happiness beauty and happiness a thing of beauty is a joy forever so they see you as like um what's that one song the lana del rey song young and beautiful i feel like you two could have um or you could have been drawn to that song you know they'll still love you even when you know you turn gray and old they're going to be with you and admire you for <laughs> ever you know your beauty is eternal to them, is what I'm hearing. And that's just, that's so sweet and beautiful because it's like, obviously, the heart grows fonder when you are away. And I feel like maybe they could want to jump to a job. Um, maybe they could have been in the military or something. But it's almost like they feel like they made a wrong decision. But they know in their heart that they would have screwed things up even worse if they were with you during that time um because they were like they might have been a player or like a big flirt and you made a might have not enjoyed that um you may have been insecure and it just didn't work between you guys then but i'm hearing they're coming back and i mean they want to run full force at you okay they they want you to know that their love just grew um like, they are in love with you. They they don't want to do it without you anymore. Um, because they saw what life was. They saw that, you know, they, they broke everything down within themselves when they left. <laughs> and we have the lovers, and we also have death and the queen of wands. Okay, so yes. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like I said, you were just like, you're beautiful. I mean, come on. Okay. Like I said, this is just such a beautiful pile. And we also have the star at the bottom of the deck. So again, beauty, like you're crazy beautiful. <laughs> okay. Not only, like I said, inside, but outside and the lovers and death. Perfect with what I said, where they had to break themselves down. You both had to go through this period of death to know what it's like to lose each other. To know that you don't want that to happen again. To know that you want each other because you realize you don't need each other. You don't have that codependency anymore because you went without each other. And that's what's going to strengthen this relationship so much. And I'm so happy because... A lot of the time, people will just stay in toxic relationships, stay in a relationship where they don't feel completely happy because that's just what some people do. Some people are okay being just, like, comfortable, even if they're not happy. So, but you guys, like, this could be a past life connection, I'm feeling, like, deeply that, or just someone that deeply cares about you, like, to their soul, like, on a soul level, they want you um and now you guys realize that putting work into yourselves was such a big thing that you needed to do to be together so <laughs> yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that reading and that you guys are seeing that they're coming in they are um showing you that their love is not going to be questioned anymore you may have that's another thing you may have questioned oh do they love me do they um care like they say okay and we also have at the i just shuffled one more time wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck and also the world so you know what i'm saying like <laughs> this is a thing of not only divine timing but it is also a thing of good fortune you know what i'm saying you getting what you deserve 
and what you deserve for putting in this work for going through the hard times with this person is going to be beautiful it is going to be something that the divine has worked on worked with you on so i hope you guys enjoyed that reading pile once and you know it helped and that you know i'm proud that you guys are doing the inner work and that everything's going to work out and it's gonna be great so <laughs> i'm happy for you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one let's move on to pile two the nut hatch i've never heard of this bird pile too but <laughs> okay i don't even know where it originated um you should probably look that up because i don't know i'm hearing this person may live in the place that it's native to or you may i don't know why that's important um or you could get a message through that so you feel inclined to look up where the nut hatch is native. That's okay. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Ooh. Let's get one more. Ooh. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Let go of control issues. Okay. So. And. I'm going to take this one because this is at the bottom of the deck and I feel drawn to engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. We're also going to roll the zodiac dice real quick just to um, get added messages. Aries and Scorpio. What a pair. <laughs> Leo and Sagittarius. Leo and Capricorn. Okay. So as we're seeing here, you could be, you know, whatever religion you are, whatever spiritual path you're on, is going to be where you meet this person. It's like, I'm trying to, it's almost like I'm seeing like a baptism almost it's like you're by water like a shoreline you're on the shoreline and you're like they could be a preacher they could be a pastor they could be a religious leader whatever it is or you could or you met at your church or whatever religious um i don't know what you'd call it like whatever is your religious or spiritual beliefs a community full of that it's like and i see like this beautiful person almost like walking out of the water they're like you know when you see on those tv shows like the people in bikinis just flouncing out of the water but it's like it's not like that it's more of they're in the water and they emerge and there's like this bright light around them it's like oh like this like this <laughs> I was like, I thought I saw something with bright light. Yes. And it's just like, there's such a, you know, the feelings that you have, um, which your feelings are real and worth exploring. You may have never felt this. Um, maybe you have like a very strict religion or something like that where, you know, you don't really explore many things um, having to do with love. Because I don't, that's just what's coming to me. Maybe it's a little stricter. Maybe it's, um, or maybe you're a little closed off. But it's just almost like everything stops when you see this person. Or when you saw this person and they're like, <laughs> I don't know. That's just like divine being to you. It's like everything you once asked for in a person. I don't know. It's... That was, like, a, one of the most, like, intense visions that I had, have had when I'm done these readings. Like, it was just so, but it, I just heard baptism, like, just so, and it could be, you know, if you're a Christian or whatever, but it could be other things, um, 
other religions, you know, have different things like that. So we also have Primrose, Youthful Love. If I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. <gasps> that's so beautiful. And look at the, I believe that's, it looks like a moth. Oh. I don't think it's going to focus. Because <laughs> it's not sure what to focus on with all these colors. But I also, you know, Primrose from the Hunger Games, you could like that, um movie Katniss Everdeen's sister Prim yeah Prim Rose was her name I think Red Rose <laughs> Hidden Secrets there are things three things cannot be long hidden the sun, the moon, and the truth I'm gonna say this <laughs> and it's almost like you're trying to hide from your feelings that's what I'm getting with the your feelings are real and worth exploring. And with the leveling up, it's almost like when you admit to yourself those feelings, admit them to this person or acknowledge them even, is when you two are really going to get together and like make something beautiful. You know, and with the engagement, this could be someone you're going to marry. Let me get some oh, messages from this person, channeled messages. Okay, but it's just like, I don't know, it's so like, the way I'm looking at your love with this person is just like, <laughs> like the PTA parents, okay? <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad way either, it's like just a thing of, you guys are like the it couple, you guys are like the follow all the rules, do this the right way, everything's going to be good. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I'm getting. Like, your love is very much by the book and on a straight and narrow path, but that's what it is for you guys. Some people aren't like that, some people are, and it's not a bad thing. Because your love life is your love life, and it doesn't matter what anybody else says about it, um, or what anybody really thinks about it, unless... You're obviously hurting other people, but you're not. You're like, you just want to love someone. And them to be like, I feel like you're very intense on your beliefs. And that I don't think it would really work with someone that was the exact opposite. Or someone that was ignorant or didn't take the time to listen about what you believe in. Your beauty still moves me. And I can't handle your words right now. So, like this says, I'll allow this situation to unfold naturally. So, you could be trying to be a control freak. Let it go of control issues. This also came up in pile one. Um, and so did the beauty. Um, pile one was very, very beautiful. But um, I feel like almost this person, it's like... You guys are, I almost feel like this is you. I can't handle your words right now is you. It's like, you don't want to view your relationship with them. You don't want to think about it. You don't want to um, be confronted with your feelings for some reason or another. And this could have to do with your religion or just walls you have up. But it's something that's very much hindering this connection. Hindering, um what you want and it's like you don't <laughs> you want it but you don't it's like you tell yourself no this isn't what I want this isn't what I am about because they also may not be you know in your religion but you have to broaden your horizon sometimes and like let yourself go <laughs> and that doesn't mean like to date someone ignorant like i said but someone that has a different religion it's okay to do that if it's not your style then maybe this reading isn't for you but um it is okay to sometimes you know broaden your thoughts and 
be okay with being with someone like that we have the king of wands so like i said it's like this i view him as like i don't know why just like a preacher of something like a speaker someone who when people look at him or her or whatever resonates with you they um they just like see this very strong noble person almost like this person that i don't know like not that can't do any wrong but like they're just they're like a stable environment for people they show people how to be <laughs> i don't even know how to put it like it's so this pile is so so strange because it's like at one point you're like this person's so great everybody loves them they're like so strong and noble and like they know how to talk to people they know how to you know charm people they're very charming but then you're like but i don't like them <laughs> you say all these great things about them and then you're like but i don't like them <laughs> so what is this person feeling about you like what's happening okay so we have a period of like i said rest and like they don't it's like not the exact time where they can handle things that you might say. Like I said, you may be trying to control it. You may be trying to control them. Or you may not be um, the perfect <laughs> person in regards to... It's not like you're shaming them, but it's almost like... You're low-key, like, shaking your head at some of the things they do. But, like, with the Ten of Cups, it's like, you view them in a way of, like, this person is great. Like, I want to have kids with them. I want to marry them. We also have the engagement card. Remember. So, it's just, like, when you get out of your own head, when you get out of your own feelings and just take this rest, take this relaxation, take this time to ponder them and your connection like <laughs> is when things are going to move fast and like move into a better spot um because i feel like you're really just fighting with yourself or were and now is just the time to get going on contemplating on what you want from them and from yourself so yeah <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed that pilot too and you guys really think about you know Maybe they're not all so bad, but I also think it's just a coping mechanism for you guys because you it's almost like you don't want to like them for some reason or another. Whatever that is for you, you guys know. So Hope you guys enjoyed that, and you guys all stay safe, happy, and healthy. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And pile three. We have the crow. Universal laws and truths are now being revealed. Use this energy to create your reality. I love this one. We're going to do the Zodiac Dice first. Taurus and Libra. Leo and Capricorn. Aries and Sagittarius. Alright. Getting just major Sagittarius energy straight off the bat. Um, Straight off the bat, like, you could be a Sagittarius. One of your sun signs is a Sagittarius. Um, straight off the bat. Uh... That's just for the majority of you. Sagittarius. Okay. And we're going to get the energy of this connection first. Okay. Ooh. Again, nothing can stay on the table. Okay, we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And we also have very soon, so clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. 
and it says use this energy to create your reality okay so like you just needed to like straight off the bat i can already tell where this reading is going that you just need to pick what you want you may have more than one person that you're kind of into but you know who you've known before you know where the strongest magnetic attraction is here um and you know what's right for you but you gotta pick it you can't be in between you know the fence is that what they say be in between the fence be on the fence be on the fence <laughs> be in between the fence <laughs> that's not even possible but be on the fence about it you can't you really just have to make the decision It's a lot more cool colors. Gladiola. I don't even know how that's, if that's how you pronounce it. But it says strength of character and moral integrity. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Helen Keller. So, like I said, you may have went through something, you know, spiritual awakening or something. That wasn't the best because this i feel like that's why this is coming in like you're getting all the answers and this is coming in very soon like they're things are going to work i feel like pansy sweet thoughts pray you love remember and there are pansies that's for thoughts <laughs> maybe i'm just dumb but and it's late so that's not click <laughs> clicking again i don't want to you know Put this in camera because of people might be light sensitive and i don't want to anyone to get a headache or anything like that so pray you love remember and there are, are pansies that's for thoughts okay <laughs> got it everything's really clicking now now but it's almost like you're in this period of you know things get beginning to get better um things are you know happening for you i hear also in career you may have had a career switch or something that is really doing great in your career we also have please don't take what happened personally it's not you it's me Your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. And then we also have, I don't know how I feel anymore. And like this says, heart to heart conversations, honesty, discuss, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I feel like this person has a lot to say to you. And you guys have not sat down and really talked about your feelings. Yeah. And we also have bottom of the deck for that, um, botanical, botanical deck intelligence and mental beauty wisdom is the abstract of the past but beauty is the promise of the future and it's just like there's a lot of things that need to be communicated for this pile you know communication is key here um and this is what this person is expressing to you the need for communication is what is going to kickstart you guys into whatever it is you guys get into okay whether that's marriage, having kids, or just being com companions to each other, or maybe just moving on from each other. Okay. Let's get some more cards. We have the Nine of Cups, which, like I said, things are just... Things are coming in for you, okay? Like, it's almost like you're just like a mag magnet, magnetic for good now that... You know that storm has passed it's like you're reaping the rewards and this love is going to be a major, oh, major one it's not going to hurt anymore <laughs> that's what i heard it's not gonna hurt anymore that sounds very like we also have queen of cups so how it says here is like you're very you have very strong feminine energy where you're very easy to talk to. Like, that's one of the person, 
things that this person really enjoys and this is standing out for some reason to me like maybe you guys like fruity pebbles or something but like or you guys have painted rocks with each other like painted something in nature but that's standing out to me so whoever that's for another confirmation for you guys but um it's like they never and with such like the sweet thoughts and strength of character and moral integrity and intelligence and mental beauty it's like your voice your talks are what is going to help you last or bring you together and it's going to last because of you know you guys aren't going to play around anymore it's not going to be a cat and mouse game you're not going to wonder what they say you're going to communicate and that's what needs to happen <laughs> and we also have who and this is just what i'm saying you know this is usually about you know your craft your whatever it is you're working on and i feel like this is your relationship this is your partnership this is your friendship this is your thing with this person the eight of pentacles like you're you have to work on it you have to work on your communication you have to build you have to grow you have to appreciate the time like he's not going to be there forever eventually it's going to you know bench is going to get uncomfortable he's going to stand up and go about his merry way but you appreciate the time you have now and i feel like that's something you guys really need to hear is appreciate the time you have with this person and it's not to be like oh scare you or be like it's gonna all go away no that's not it at all but show gratitude for this person is something that really needs to be um they want to stress to you but it's almost like they're kind of not afraid to tell you but insecure to be like oh i need help or oh i need your support right now but really just they're gonna take like if you just say i'm thankful for you or hey, what you did was really cool and I liked it and appreciated it. Or, oh, hey, what you did, wow, that was really funny or brave. And they just appreciate that so much. So that's something that will really also bring you two closer together. Apart from conversating, <laughs> it's almost like you guys play, like, footsies with your eyeballs. <laughs> like, you guys just need to have better communication to really kickstart this relationship or have a good distance you know what i'm saying so i hope you guys enjoyed that pile three and excuse me as always you guys stay safe happy and healthy and i will see you guys in the next one like like subscribe comment if you'd like really appreciate it and yeah bye you guys <laughs>